shopping. Boy, women be shopping. You can't stop a woman from shopping. <laughs> if you know, guess what movie that is from. Put it down into the comment section. Welcome back. I want to share with you guys today. I found them. I found what I was looking for. I'm so glad I took a chance. I went to two stores. I was looking for a particular item. I was looking for a little small fuzzy, you call them pom-pom balls. I need them because I want to do a project. And I had looked up and down different stores and I hadn't seen them, but I hit the jackpot. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree. And then in my community where I live, right next door, we have a Dollar General. I ended up just picking up some random things. I went in there looking for this particular item. Let's get started. All right, here's my bag right here. So this is the stuff that I got. So here's one thing that I needed, some extra paper. This is some nice paper. You get 10 sheets. Actually, I kept passing it by and they had other patterns. And then I thought about it. I got up to the register to pay. It was just laying there. So I said, uh, I grabbed it. <laughs> this is gonna come in handy because I'm gonna wrap some of the homemade items. This another gift. So I have that. And then I got this cute little notepad. That's a gift for someone. And it's so cute. It has the little dogs on it. And inside, it also, if you can see the inside, I don't know if you guys can see that. It says hello at the top, and then it has little bones and doggy prints and little hearts. I thought that was so special. And with the, it says it's women owned, the company. And it's by Crown Jewels. Jewels with the N's and a Z, the item pet. Item LP hyphen pets hyphen zero zero. I don't know how many sheets, it doesn't say. All right, so I got that. And I've got these nice little socks. Now, I got these for myself. <laughs> but they're so cute, they're black. As you see how sparkly they are. Oh, that's gonna make my feet so warm and fuzzy. I got a black pair and then the red pair. The red pair also has sparkles. They're nice and soft. So they are called Snuggle Doo. So both of these are the same brand, Snuggle Doos. Yes, it says feel the softness. They are very soft. And then I bought a bag of rubber bands. Actually, I needed these because I had a, a bag before. Um, you know how you could put like, uh, I balled up a piece of paper and then I started rolling the rubber bands on them to make a ball. So that, and then I had them on my desk and they were so accessible. But then one of my daughters, she, she always needed rubber bands for something and she was working on the project. So I gave her the, all the rubber bands. So now I have these and I need them, believe me. And let's see, then I got this cute, like I need some more stickers, but I did. I thought these were so awesome. There's 19 of stickers and they're from Crafter Square. And they're like little, they're puffy. And they call them like title or border gems. They're so nice. They look almost like metallic that they are, and that's really pretty. All right, and then I bought these two books for my grandsons. This says, uh, Ready to Read. It says, Daniel plays at school and the other one's friends help each other. Oh, that, I thought that was really sweet. So yeah, so mom can read that to them. <laughs> Cause they're young, they can't read yet. And then I got these two 2023 weekly planners. Yeah, so these are gonna be really great. I like the colors of them, but these just slip right off. You know, you just slip them right out of these pages. You know, they're just like, this is just a cover. So they used to come out. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna cover this. I'll figure out something to do. So I wanna do this, but these, I, I want at least one to um, carry in my purse daily so I could jot down things because um, when I had my top three notebook, it was okay and I kept it on my desk and then that was a problem because I would put everything down in that planner and then, you know, it was pretty large. I didn't take it with me, so I left it on the desk. So <laughs> I even got to the point where I would take my camera in the morning before I leave and take a picture of the page um, with all the to-do things on it, but nah, I didn't like that. So 
I think I'm going to use this and they have line pages and you know dates and it has the calendars appear like two mugs and this is nice yeah so and then we have a couple of pages in the back for notes so I've used one of these before a long time ago um, it's an old video you guys can I'll try to link it at the bottom is where I first started this is how I started uh, when I was reading my Bible and this I used as like my daily Bible journal until I start using the Christian planner uh, <laughs> I forgot about that but yeah so these are come in handy so I have to this is a uh, pink yeah so I'll figure that out if I'll fix both of them up one I'll keep for myself unless I need to use it um, I'll give the other one away and then I've got these two more of these. I have some and I've given them away. I gave one away for December for the Riderly giveaway. And then I have one left. But so now, so I'm going to, you know, redo these and maybe I'll give them away later to someone or later here on the channel. We'll see. But these always come in handy. And this has a hundred sheets can't go wrong with these classic composition books and now they come in all sorts of different colors but they have this ruler in the back and remember back in the day we used to use these in school and they have the multiplication table and has the table of measurements and then the metric conversion very handy and then you list your classes and everything in the front if i end up covering them and redesigning them some of this might get covered up but that's okay I got this because I'm going to need this just plain white craft material. It's from Crafter Square and it's uh, 20 inches by 20. I'm going to need this because I want to do some projects. I hope I'll get to do it and you guys will see. I want to make a junk journal. I've never made one, but that is something I want to do and I think I might need it. It's a little part of this for the binding or for whatever, okay? And I bought a battery. <laughs> I bought a battery because we had an issue with the fire alarm here, so we needed to get put the battery in, so I got that. And then I bought these, you guys. This is what I went into the store to get. <laughs> I said, well, I'm gonna try Dollar Tree, you know, because I know they have Crafty Square and they have a lot of crafts there. So I went in the store to get this because I need these little, the smallest ones. You see these small, the little small pom-poms. This one has different sort of sizes, like this one being the big largest, and then they look like they're medi medium. But I need some this size. And they had one package left. This was the last package. I couldn't believe it. And um, so it says you get 25 pieces inside. You know what? Then I said, well, I'm just gonna have to make do. But these are not really the colors I want. I wanted more of like the Christmas colors, you know, the basic red, green, yellow, orange, like that. So I wasn't too happy with it, you know. So, but I ended up, I said, well, I better get it because before it be gone, you know, and I looked all around the other areas of the store just in case someone, you know, picked them up and moved them somewhere else. But no, this is all I found. So those are my items I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put them all back in here. Now. now I'm going to show you guys. I said, well, let me go next door to the Dollar General. Maybe they'll have the items that I need. So now here's my bag for the Dollar General. Okay, so this is what I ended up getting. <laughs> this is a far cry from pom-poms, but I couldn't let this go. This is so cute. I mean, okay, if some of you don't know, this is my dream vacation one day. Um, I thought I was gonna make this happen for this year. Actually, I had it written down. I found a paper that I had it written down that I wanted to go in 2022. And in 2022, I was gone, but hey, that's okay. Um, so anyway, I had to get this. It's only 500 pieces and I love puzzles and I do have at least four or five other puzzles here at home, but um, not this one. <laughs> so I got it and I figured out this is something I could do during the holiday. Hey, I'm. I'll be off work for a couple of weeks. I can sit down and put on my little soft footsies and put on some nice jazz music or listen to a book or whatever, have my hot cocoa and 
piece this puzzle. How about that? All right, so I got that. And <laughs> I had to get some tissue. That's, that has nothing to do with bomb bombs. Speaking of coffee, I had to get this. And you guys, I switch now. I'm trying to be a good Mrs. Claus. Oh, speaking of Mrs. Claus, you guys probably wonder what the heck do I have on? I, <laughs> I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. But I have this attire on. Today, I was intending to take three of my grandchildren out to our to our traditional Christmas shopping spree. So normally, what we'll do every Christmas, normally it would be after Christmas, but this time I was able to take them earlier. So we go out to breakfast and then we'll go shopping. You know, I give them a little money and they find something for themselves. And then we'll usually um, end eating ice cream. But it was so sad today, you guys. Oh, I was so ready and hyped up to go. And so I dressed like this for the younger kids, my two grandsons, which are five and two and a half. But they were sick, you guys. They got sick and they couldn't come with my mama all this time. So just pray for them that they, you know, have a, a speedy recovery. So I took my 13-year-old granddaughter and we had a ball. I felt a little silly after a while, after I was out there walking around with this on, but you know what? Hey, it's the Christmas season and most people were like, oh my gosh, you know, I love your outfit. Young people, old people, it was it was fun. I probably totally embarrassed my granddaughter, but no, we took pictures together and had a great time. Anyway, I digress, <laughs> but I had to explain this outfit. Okay, so um, I got these items. <laughs> They're not pom pom, but you know what? I was looking at the this is cute, uh, these special. You guys, um, one of my daughters is expecting in I think end of March or April, so I'm gonna have one for her, and then I'm going to have a great grandchild. Can you believe? Oh my gosh! So and it's gonna be a girl. So girls, girls, and then I was thinking I need to go back to the store and get another one for a girl because my niece is having a girl. So, and they're all close together within a, two months, a month to two months apart. I'm so excited. That is just such a blessing. And um, yeah, so I'm getting all excited about that. But I thought these were so cute, you guys. Look at this one, it has the little rainbow and this one has the little unicorn. And then this one has some cute little butterflies and a little crown. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, guess what? Well, after I got them home, that's because, see, that's impulse buying. Anyway, I realized they're rattles. So these are little rattlers on the little um, icons. Too cute. Oh, that's so precious. I love buying little girls things. You guys, you know, I have four girls and one boy. So, yeah, that was so special. Oh, and I I got these. I mean, you can't... I was in Hobby Lobby, remember? If you guys go back and check out that video from Hobby Lobby where they had all the stamps and everything. This was a steal. I think this was $7. Yes, I looked at the receipt. It was $7. So these are alphabet stamps, and this is good because I want to use these when I'm doing my journaling and bullet journals or whatever. And so now I just have to get the ink pad. <laughs> I, I looked briefly, I didn't see that, but I can always find an ink pad somewhere. But these are really nice. These are by Crafter's Closet. Okay, so that was awesome. So this is what I found, you guys. I found them, woo! Look, oh my gosh, I got two bags. Yes, I bought two of them. Look at this. This is the size I needed, you guys. And the colors are pretty, you know, they're good. They're nice and light and bright. They're not the, you know, basic reds. But I do have the green. I have purple, pink. I have uh, orange. That is good enough. But this the perfect size, you guys. So over here I have... Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realize. Okay, so now... See, that's, yeah, I was rushed. I was so happy to see these, so I grabbed them up, so I didn't even notice. I do have red, 
blue i do have the christmas color oh man so now i have a variety of colors and this one has see different sizes as well so at first i saw this and then i looked at the bottom i was like oh yes perfect this is the exact size i need so so you have the the small and it goes medium and then large so i want to show you guys what i need this for let me get the item i was looking for for this you guys look is this the cutest thing or what? I bought this last year at uh, Michael's and they were on sale at, I think it was after Christmas. So it was like, a, I think I paid a dollar fifty or something for it. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> anyway, it's the letter D. Oh, it's an ornament, a tree ornament. Oh, you can use it with everything, anything when I'm thinking about it now. You can put it hanging on your doorknob, on the outside of your bedroom door, wherever. But anyway, it's a Christmas ornament. And um, it is by, I have to let you guys know. I'll let you guys know that later. But I intend to attempt to replicate this and do it in a video. And hopefully I can pull it off. That's why I wanted those so badly. I think I can make it hopefully <laughs> so you see that's the perfect size look at that look at that is that perfect the perfect size i needed so i need to make this for someone so that's why i was looking for that so i spent a total <laughs> i want to tell you guys how much total i spent the dollar tree is dollar 25 for everything but the dollar general everything is not a dollar but these were this was still just a dollar these so two dollars for this but some of the other items like these little footsies one was five dollars and the other one was four dollars but they're so worth it i think they're so precious all right guys so i did it that's what i was looking for and thank you dollar general for coming up for having those fuzzy pom-poms something so simple and wow it was just there i'm so happy all right guys so <laughs> that is what I wanted to share with you guys. My little haul from the Dollar Tree and Dollar General. It's fun. I mean, you can get a lot of nice, useful things in those stores. I mean, they have so many th items that you need everyday use or whatever. Specialty. Something to be grateful for. I'm grateful for the little things. All right, guys. So, hope you guys are going back and checking out all the rest of the 12 Days of Christmas videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. Later, Gators!